Welcome back to Droller's Garage. Today I am back on the SC, uh, on the brown bomber over here. Uh, today I need to install this bumper because the simple addition of that bumper will already make the car look complete. Uh, also, I need to get the, bra the brakes done. I need to bleed them, um, uh, you know, put fluid in there and, and do a, I got, I'll get my power bleeder out and get all the uh, all the brakes bled because uh, I have rebuilt them all and I have yet to put a drop of brake fluid inside the car. So that's what I'm working on today. I'll see what else I have time for, if anything. I'm not really sure uh, what, what my day holds, but that's what I'm gonna do. At least if I get that done, I'll be happy. Uh, I got the bumper over there sitting on top of the tire machine, uh, you know, cause we're very professional here at Droll's Garage. So uh, that's the plan. Get that bumper on, get the wheels on, uh, you know, check the air pressure and all that, and possibly, maybe even pull this car outside, maybe even drive it. Wow, go, go figure. So stay tuned. But first, it's cafecito time. Oh, yeah, ready to go. I'm looking at this, and uh, there's some screws under here, like here, here. Uh, and this one and honestly with that muffler there in the in the way I don't know how I would get those out. So I'm gonna remove that muffler uh, I don't know if they maybe weren't hooked up before or what because I don't remember having removed the muffler to remove the bumper But you know from uh, there is no way I'm gonna get to this screw nor this screw With that muffler in place. So I'm gonna get rid of it Get rid of it. I'm gonna take it out put the bumper on and then put the muffler back. It should be pretty easy. I got three bolts over here, and then I got this one, uh, just like a one right there. So that's what I'm gonna do, make it a lot easier. That way I don't have to fight with the, uh, you know, getting those screws in, because I do remember it was kind of a pain getting that bumper out with the muffler in place. So muffler comes off. Now with the bumper off, I can get to the holes here to uh, to get the bolts in for the to hold the bumper on. It's gonna be a lot easier. See, there's a hole here, hole here, here. So that's next. Muffler's ready to go on next. The gasket that I had on there, or that was on there, obviously is not in the best of shape. So I have another one. It looks like it's probably been used before, but whatever. If it fits, it works. So now the muffler goes on. It's already looking so much better with the, uh, with the bumper in place, huh? I would say. Looks so much better. I love when progress is made. Bumper is on, muffler is on. 
So I think back here, I am good to go. Now I gotta do the brakes, put the wheels on it, get all my crap off the car and put it down on the ground. So I had to run to the auto parts store and get some brake fluid. I'm just gonna use some standard dot four, uh, you know, just generic brake fluid. I usually don't use this. I usually use um, some, some wheel wood or, you know, some more uh, higher quality uh, brake fluid that has higher boiling points. But the reality is that this car is, not, at least not with me, ever gonna see anything more than just some spirited street driving. So I think that will do just fine. I got out my little uh, bleeding, uh, recepting, receptacle, uh, brake fluid container thingamajig here. And my brake bleeder, my power bleeder. Uh, this thing is awesome. I've been using it for quite a few years now. I assume one of these days it's gonna, you know, burst, but in the meantime, it works, so I keep using it. So that's next. So I got the power bleeder hooked up there. Uh, now it's time to fill it up. And once it's full, I need to get a little cap for that nipple there, that, um, what do you call it, that vent nipple, so that it doesn't spew out. Because once I pressurize this thing, yeah, it, it will want to come out of here. So I've had those caps blow out and it makes such a mess. But anyway, the whole point is for it not to blow out. So meanwhile, I'll just fill this up and uh, get some pressure in it. All right, so I've got this thing pressurized to, I don't know, 18 PSI or something like that. Doesn't need too much. So now, come here. Oh, hey, this thing always falls out. And start waiting for this thing to fill up. So the idea is, you open the valve. There's still some air bubbles coming through there, but I'm gonna leave it like this for now. I'm gonna go around the car, do the other three wheels, or the other three calipers, better said, and, um, and come back. And I'll probably do two or three rounds just to get all that air out. So I'm gonna have to put the, uh, the phone down for that because I need my hands, because otherwise it's just, it's messy and, this little thing here wants to pop out all the time and it just starts shooting brake fluid everywhere. So I'm going to need my hands for this. That's it. Brakes are done. Pedal feels nice and firm. All four corners. Didn't make too much of a mess. But uh, push the pedal. It feels nice. So excellent. All right. Uh, I guess I put the the tires on it, put the wheels, and uh, maybe put it down. <clears throat> One thing I forgot to do was put the coupler on. But I'm looking at it, it needs bushings. So I'm gonna do that next. No good. Anyway, fortunately, I had a set here of bushings, so I'll get those swapped out. I'm gonna walk over to the vise and the BFH, get that pin knocked out, and put those bushings on. So this is it. I gotta get those plastic uh, bushings out of there and uh, reassemble it in the opposite order of disassembly. All right, now it's nice and sturdy, ready to go in the car. Seems to be running pretty well. Uh, this will be next, all this mess.
but for now let's take it for a little just a little drive I uh, I need to adjust the clutch the clutch cable since I had to disconnect it is not uh, it's not adjusted properly though it's engaging way too low so that's no big deal but the car seems to be running well not that it shouldn't you know there's no reason why it shouldn't run well but, but yeah she is out this car hasn't seen the light a day in probably three or four months it is dusty it's dirty but nothing a good scrub can't fix seems to be running okay uh idle i think the cold idle seems a little off like it idles too low once it warms up it idles fine um i'll have to see if i can diagnose that but otherwise the car looks cool i like the way it looks without the rockers yeah it needs a wash big time so yay the car looks pretty nice very cool I like it okay so that's gonna do it for today uh, I think I made some pretty decent progress at least the car's back on the ground it's got the wheels on it I can drive it around I need to adjust the clutch uh, I need to figure out the idle situation. It kind of bogs down uh, when it's cold. Once it warms up, it, it, it idles a little better. So I need to deal with that. Um, and I got to put that interior together. Uh, the brakes are working great. So everything else is good. Just that clutch. Uh, the, it's, it engages very, like, as soon as I let my foot off the floor, it starts engaging already. So uh, it needs to be, definitely needs to be adjusted. But that's an easy, easy fix. So that's it. It's on the ground. It's uh, dry, it drives fine. I drove it around the block. Aside from the idling situation, which I will get to the bottom of, uh, I think it looks so much cooler without those rocker panels on the bottom. And uh, we'll see if I can get the ducktail on it. See, no rockers on this side either. It looks so much nicer. Uh, and then I'll get the um, that fiberglass bonnet on the front here. Uh, it needs a wash big time. It's super dusty and it's been sitting inside for months so yay i'm happy progress is made i can finally move forward in some direction or another with this car whatever it is i'm going to do with it but uh, i think it's looking cool so yeah so i'm going to put the car away uh, i want to thank you guys for watching please like and subscribe uh, leave me any comments uh, if you're if you want to know more about this particular car i have some other videos uh, by all means feel free to check them out so for now, it's going to call it a day uh, for the Brown Bomber. And I'm happy that uh, it's back on the road or back on the ground, at least not on the road yet, but it's moving again. So I'm happy about that. So thanks for watching.